Hello, I'm George Cummings with your SCB News Break for Friday, October 11th. A Canyon Country man is being held without bail after being accused of hiring a hitman to kill his wife. 52-year-old Dino Guglielmelli was arrested October 5th and charged with attempted murder and solicitation to commit murder. A spokesperson for the district attorney's office say he and his wife are in the midst of a divorce. Guglielmelli runs an alternative medicine product company that employs more than 300 people, including biochemists, research developers, and microbiologists. And another man from Canyon Country who drove on the wrong side of the freeway near Agua Dulce earlier this year has been sentenced to a seven years in state prison. 54-year-old Rick Allen Walker was driving southbound in the northbound lanes of Highway 14 during rush hour when he struck several cars, starting a chain reaction that involved nine vehicles near Escondido Canyon Road back in June. Eleven people were injured, four of them seriously. He's been convicted of four counts of DUI causing injury. The latest rabid bat to turn up in Los Angeles County was found alive outside somebody's home in Santa Clarita. It's the 13th rabid bat found in the SCV so far this year. Santa Clarita is home to nearly half of all rabid bats found countywide in 2013. Officials say bats are the most common carriers of rabies, but fewer than 1% of them actually carry the disease. Coming up after the break, it's a fair just for Fido and Whiskers. The 13th annual Bow Wows and Meows Pet Fair returns to New Hall this weekend. Find out what's in store next. SCV Newsbreak is brought to you by Action Family Counseling. My relationships were affected by my addiction in ways that are almost hard to describe. I lost, I lost that trust and that, that sense of intimacy that you have with your family. Everyone says that, oh, it's just a plant, like you can't get addicted to it, but like really, it is addictive. If you're doing it all day, like every day, it's just like, that's all your life consists of is smoking weed, like, then it's addictive. I think your son is, you'll never know, because it, it is hard to hide, but if you try hard enough, you can conceal it. There's no face to addiction, like, your next door neighbor could be an addict and you have no idea. The people we deal with are great people. They're just making bad choices. So if we can help people make better choices, everybody wins. Tonight, we take another look at the Hart Indians as they take on the West Ranch Wildcats in the Galpin of Santa Clarita High School football game of the week. Joining us now from Valencia High School is Dave Caldwell with a preview of tonight's game. Dave? Yeah, and one of the things that you're not saying is that this is the first game of the Foothill League. The previous five games that everybody has already played, throw it out. That is one part of the season. Now is the real meat and potatoes of the season. Foothill League play begins tonight, and we've got a real good one. The West Ranch Wildcats coming into this game. Four and one so far on the season. The Hart Indians, number one team in Division One, number five team in the state, number 25 in the nation. Of course, they are undefeated so far, 5-0 and in play. But the Hart Indians are going to be without Connor Wingenroth. 688 yards rushing and 10 touchdowns on the ground alone this year so far. He is out with a separated shoulder that that happened in the second play from scrimmage for the Indians last week. They're going to have to rely more on Brady White. 1,800 yards, nearly 1,800 yards passing, 59% completion percentage for Brady White. So he has been the main offense now that the that Connor Wingenroth is going to be out of this game. For the West Ranch Wildcats, they're going to counter with Christian Parrish. Parrish, 617 yards rushing in the first five games for the West Ranch Wildcats. When he is not on the field, this is a completely different offense. So see a lot from Christian Parrish tonight. Game time tonight, 11 o'clock here on SCV TV. The Hard Indians taking on the West Ranch Wildcats. The game one of the Foothill League season. It gets crazy after this. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Dave. Also tonight, our friends at your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS, will be broadcasting live at the Saugus Valencia game over at College of the Canyons. Tune in to AM 1220 KHTS to catch all the action with broadcasters Barry McKeever and Kyle Jellings. Kickoff is at 7.30. Now for your weather. A clear day and 76 degrees for the daytime high in Santa Clarita to Friday. Tonight's going to remain mostly clear with a low around 50 and southwest winds around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Much of the same is expected over the weekend with highs topping out in the upper 70s Saturday and Sunday. But by the start of next week, we should see a slight increase in temperatures. 
Sustainability, conservation, and environmental responsibility will be spotlighted at a special event at College of the Canyons this weekend. COC and the Santa Clarita Environmental Education Consortium have teamed up to host a free environmental leadership conference. Saturday at the Diane G. Van Hook University Center, Green Up, as the event is called, will teach attendees how to be environmentally conscious in different aspects of their lives. The event will feature several panel discussions and workshops on topics such as architecture, gardening, sustainable products, and home conservation. For details on the conference, log on to scvnews.com and click on the Green Up ad. Also this weekend, the Los Angeles County Department of Animal Care and Control is bringing hundreds of adoptable animals to the 13th annual Bow Wows and Meows. The annual pet fair is returning to Hart Park in Newhall Sunday from 11 to 4. The free event features discounted pet adoptions, a stunt show, vaccinations, and free microchips. Details can be found online at bowwowsandmeows.org. And on a quick programming note, SCV TV will televise the 183rd semi-annual General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints this weekend. Tune in to Time Warner Cable Channel 20, ATT UVerse Channel 99, or log on to scvtv.com Saturday at 1 p.m. and Sunday at 8 a.m. to watch. That's all for tonight. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for watching. I'm George Cummings. SCV News Break is brought to you by Action Family Counseling.